Next up, we have something a little bit different from what we've been doing. Um, we are having a pitch contest. So four um, sort of companies that have gone through the Nucleate Activator program are going to pitch for you. You guys are going to vote, and they're going to win a prize. So it's very exciting. Um, Logan's going to introduce them, and then Su Yen, who you met yesterday as well, who's been one of our Nucleate fellows. She's going to be the glue that sticks it all together. Um, so yeah, very excited. Let's go. So um, Friday afternoon. You guys have been paying attention um, for a day and a half now. And all I'm asking for you is another 20, 30 minutes of your full attention because you're playing a very important role today. Um, so I'm joined here by Su Yen, who you met yesterday. She is the director of the Nuclear Activator Program. Um, and together they help kind of incubate and form and spin out uh, teams from, uh, from the program. And four of them are here today. And they are here to win your hearts and minds in a pitch competition. So the four teams have a five-minute pitch. Um, and there's going to be a QR code up for voting afterwards. We're going to hold the voting open for about two minutes. So everybody in person and everybody online, please vote. Let your voices be heard. Very democratic, very Tao-like. You know how we do it around here. Um, and they are competing for some prizes, so some cash and kind of support uh, prizes from Molecule as well. So I'm going to let Su Yin take it from here, introduce you to the teams, and everybody pay attention and get ready to vote. Hello, everyone. Uh, thank you for staying all this through this I Berlin. It's so good to have you here. Talk to so many amazing people. Again, this is my first this I conference. Amazing. But right now, I'm here to showcase four out of our A companies that have gone through the Activator program this past six to seven months. Uh, I'm happy to have them all here. And because it's a project, it's the first Activator program that we do in Germany. This is our baby. We have walked through this uh, road with all the companies. So the first one is Alexander Sontag, and he's a doctoral candidate where he focused with, on gene therapy and molecular biology. And today he's going to be showcasing um, their company, Scape Agent. Thank you. Yes. Hi, we are Escape Agent and we are tackling one of the most urgent problems faced by the gene therapy community. Through the power of genes, all processes in living being are regulated. Gene therapy taps exactly into this potential to treat a widespread of diseases and to improve the quality of life. Today we are able to produce gene therapeutics that survive the path from the syringe to the cell. However, once arrived, a second line of defense is waiting and trapping the genetic material. It's industry-wide acknowledged that only 1% of the genetic material so, uh, reaches the site of action. This is so far overcome by using high dosage, which in contrast leads to higher costs and more side effects. Our escape agent is a molecule that interferes exactly in this process. It helps the gene therapeutic to escape the defense mechanism or the so-called endosomes. By doing this, more genetic material is reaching the site of action, which allows lower doses. We could already demonstrate this powerful delivery enhancement in vitro in over 10 cell lines and have encouraging in vivo data. While normal gene delivery is quite inefficient, the simple addition of escape agent leads to a dose-dependent 20-fold improvement, even at high concentration where similar structural similar compounds are toxic. The great potential of escape agent could not only be proven in our lab, but was also independently confirmed by several academic and pharma company partners. As an enabling technology, we are joining the ranks of delivery tools like adeno-associated viruses and lipid nanoparticles, but are more related to endosomal escape-triggering technologies like cell-penetrating peptides or other distinct small molecules. 
However, escape agent stands out to its great efficiency enhancement, its good therapeutic, re sorry, its good therapeutic window, and its defined analytics, making it a prime candidate as an additive for gene therapy. Through co-development of an exemplary gene therapeutic drug with a pharma company, we will establish a proof of concept in human. At the same time, we will work towards a drug master file, which facilitates new investigational drug application, which, with the aim to provide our technology to a wide spread of companies. Therefore, we will have all regulatory aspects cleared by 2026. In addition to further development of our technology, we plan to establish a high-quality GMP production route and strive towards several clinical trials and cooperating escape agent. Here our fantastic team is key. I'm very happy to work with Diana Munte, an expert in regulatory and GXP, and Dr. Jan Niklas Dürich, who as project manager is the connection to our experts and our cooperation partners. I, Alexander Sontag, will further develop the technology and our product, uh, product pipeline. Our biggest gratitude goes to Nucleate and our expert for the special support. Together, we will empower the gene therapy industry to pave the way for affordable gene therapeutics with less side effects. Thank you very much for your attention. Thank you very much, Escape Agent. If you are more interested in the technology or want to learn more about this, maybe one of the DAOs is also interested, uh, approach later to the teams. Uh, we won't have time for questions. This is gonna be a speed pitch competition. But next is one of our, so Nucleate has two tracks, a bio and an eco track. And next up is um, Fabian. So Fabian is the co-founder and CEO of Fluvion. Uh, he holds a master's degree in international management and has a lot of experience in the pharmaceutical industry. And today he's going to be presenting about what Fluvion is trying to do for the um, environment. Uh, so yeah, can I have the presenter? Yeah, perfect. So, hi everyone, I'm Fabian. As you already heard, co-founder and CEO of Fluvion. I think most people here in the room will consume biologic liquids on an almost daily basis. The most important one, the most prominent one, is milk, but there are also others, like for example silk, the musk in your perfume, or certain pharmaceuticals. The problem with these is that currently they're produced by conventional agriculture, so with animal usage. Brings a lot of ethical complications, but also issues for climate. One billion tons of CO2 annually just for milk, but also limits the availability of especially the pharmaceutical resources quite severely. So actually, it would be time for synthesization. However, with the current methods, each individual molecule requires an own process with its own bioreactor, making the whole thing very capital intensive and very ineffective. So we thought, well, this can't be the last word in this matter. So with Fluvian, we've been developing a novel type of bioreactor we call the biomimetic bioreactor, that is able to produce these liquids in one go in the quality we know. So it's like 100% milk, 100% musk, no replacement. Apart from that, also the advantages are that it's like very easily scalable. So once you reach a certain threshold, you can produce high volumes very, very quickly. It is epithelial cell agnostic, so it works well for the milk, but you can also apply it for chemicals or pharma. And due to the reduced purification um, necessities downstream, you can also significantly reduce the production costs depending on the application. Currently, yeah, currently we're like in what I would call the end of the first trimester. So um, we have the cell lines, they work. We have first promising results with the membranes, looking to reach MVP stage by end of or mid next year, then scaling up to mid-sized bioreactors to then reach, uh, let's say, full-size industrial application sites by the end of this decade to be ready to tackle large volume markets. That's also why we're raising a pre-seed round of 500,000 right now. Main um, funds will go towards membrane research and cell research. 
We don't want to do this B2C, but to maximize our impact, we want to do it B2B, so that other companies, our corporate partners, can produce these high sustainably, high, quali high quality liquids in-house, optimize the processes in the meantime, and reduce their production costs. In return, that allows us to generate multiple recurring revenue streams around the sales of these uh, bioreactors, specifically licenses, um, support contracts, as well as the cell cultures, capturing around 50% of the production costs at our in-house. In this uh, niche of the liquids production, we differentiate ourselves mainly through Bioreactor itself, which has unprecedented level of scalability and associated uh, production costs no other competitor can match so far, which is also confirmed by multiple, multiple expert interviews we conducted, and these see actually very high potential in the technology, but also the idea itself. Now, I talked about a small market, actually it's quite big, because it covers multiple segments, 400 billion annually worldwide, so actually more interesting is the direct addressable market, 8.6 million we estimate by the year uh, 2030, we aim to capture around 200 million of that by the year 2032, entering the market mainly through, or first, through the high-priced chemical complex aromas and uh, venoms, because here's a quite good combination of uh, regulatory and pricing structure. To then, which allows us to generate quite a um, promising and uh, high growth um, business model. So last but not least, who's behind? You heard a bit about myself, I'm Fabian, I'm responsible for the business side, everything outside of the lab. Responsible for the research is Marcus, my co-founder, very experienced and um, uh, expert in cell and, uh, cell and molecular biology. He has a PhD from Cambridge, won multiple prestigious prizes, including from the National Academy of Sciences of Germany, the Leopoldina, and prestigious uh, EU fellowships. We're supported by a bioprocessing specialist and a biotechnologist, which will be expanding continuously throughout the year. Additionally supported by a very motivated and capable mentoring board covering all aspects of early stage research and development and are quite well um, connected to the pharmaceutical industries. So, if you have any questions, just catch me later. I'm always happy to talk. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, Fabian. Uh, next, we have uh, Jellyfish Bio. And uh, Jellyfish Bio is going to be showcased by Nikita. So Nikita is originally a computer scientist and have co-founded three IT startups in diverse fields like crypto and neuromarketing. So those crypto peeps in the crowd, come talk to Nikita afterwards. Uh, and here's Nikita to talk about Jellyfish Bio. Hi, how are you? Yeah, thank you. Uh, quite a great event, and thank you, thank you for this event and Nucleate for uh, this opportunity. So, I'm Nikita uh, from Jellyfish Bio, an AI platform for genetic diseases, blood biomarker discovery. So, why do we need such platform? Uh, first, uh, existing approaches for genetic disease monitoring don't work. They mostly rely on complex but infrequent in hospital examinations, and it fails in several scenarios. First, for rapid disease progression, we have insufficient number of patient visits to track progression. For slow disease progression, we have not enough power to detect minor changes in health status. And finally, we fail to detect incidents like, for example, liver failure, if they didn't happen in clinical settings, which they usually not. And finally, we cannot use advanced data analysis techniques like deep learning, because in our case we have rare, uh, uh, rare patients and small amount of visits to make this kind of analysis. At the same time, 80% of genetic diseases are multisystemic, meaning that we don't have one good outcome measure, like, for example, tumor size in uh, cancer, and we really need progression biomarkers to track disease severity over time. But researchers in our field know that there is a huge lack of good progression biomarkers for genetic diseases. And it's crucial for clinical trials. Use of biomarkers in drug development process increase the likelihood of clinical trial success by 30%. So I'm Nikita, P 
PhD in computational health together with my co-founder Dima, who is PhD in medical genetics with focus on blood biomarker discovery and awards from American and European Society of Human Genetics come out with Jellyfish Bio. So we focus on the most universal way to detect biomarkers, blood biomarkers. We utilize different approaches like proteomics, a targeted metabolomics and lipidomics to find biomarkers. Next, we developed mobile application to collect wearable device data and uh, patient recorded outcomes to make monitoring of patients actually continuous. And finally, we use this deep annotation to create new, to find blood biomarkers even in, in small uh, patient cohorts. We proved our approach in science where my co-founder Dima found um, blood, uh, blood biomarker for mitochondrial disease patients, uh, which together with phenotypic data overperform all existing uh, biomarkers in our field. So our uniqueness in early stage collaboration with clinicians with access to rare patients. So we create some kind of community of uh, clinicians who have access to rare patients. We provide them platform to make their researches on our platform and secure funding for their researches. Next, we create joint IP rights with them for new disease progression biomarkers as well as additional outcome measures for genetic diseases. And our current focus in two uh, fields, in metabolic diseases, uh, genetic disease and neuromuscular diseases. So, our business model, first we start with R&D, uh, with patient continuous monitoring in R&D settings, and all the way down we license our discovered biomarkers to pharma companies in uh, all the phases of drug discovery till the drug development phase, uh, till the developed drug phase, when we aim for revenue share from 2 to 5% with pharma companies. It represents 9 billion market opportunity on over than 300 billion market of genetic disease treatment. And we uh, work on this uh, project for five months, but we already started our first clinical study in Japan where we monitor 23 patients with Fabry disease. And in our pipeline, we have four more uh, uh, studies, including Parkinson's disease. So currently we are raising half a million uh, dollars. Most of it will go to finalize product development and first uh, licensing, like with Fabry disease, we aim to license uh, first outcome measures for clinical trials till the end of this year. So if you want to know more about biomarker discovery and genetic disease, come talk to us. Thank you. Amazing. Thank you, Nikita. So we have our last uh, pitch. Have your phones ready right after um, Anna's pitch. It's going to be a QR code where you all get to vote, not just people here on site, but also everyone that's on the live stream. So last but not least, um, I am pleased to introduce Anna. And Anna uh, holds a PhD in medical biotechnology and it's currently affiliated with uh, doing a postdoc at the Charité here in Berlin. And I have Anna now to showcase Silica Corpora. Thank you. Okay. Imagine you go fishing and you get the fish that you want. At Silica Corpora, we are the skillful fisher, but instead of getting all the fishes, we get therapeutic antibodies. We can design holistic antibodies with generative AI. And with this approach, we are also unique because we can design functional antibodies only with the information of amino acid sequences of the target. And with this, we are 3D structure independent from the target and do not accumulate errors as our competitors and other AI companies do. At the moment, we have four different modules. The app mapper for epitope mapping on the target, the generator for de novo design of therapeutic antibodies and any formats, the discriminator, using it for example for saying uh, discriminate between binary and non-binder, and the optimizer that can optimize antibodies for any characteristics. 
Um, our platform is validated. We ask our platform to design candidates against HER2. HER2 is the marker in breast cancer. And from 200 trillion, we got 600 candidates within days. And trastuzumab, the therapeutic antibody that is used in the clinic to treat breast cancer and to target HER2, was among all those candidates. And we took only 10 candidates from the 600 and tested them in the wet lab. And now I want to show you how results can look like. So here you can see ELISA results and the binding of the candidates. In red, you can see the binding of trastuzumab. And we took only three candidates that were designed from our generator and optimized them. So these are the mutants you can see here. And you can see three arrows indicating mutants that have even better binding than trastuzumab, what you can see here in red. So our platform is able to even design better candidates, therapeutic antibodies, that are actually currently used in the clinics. Our team consists of three different pillars. Tim, our CTO, who has more than 10 years experience in AI drug design. Jaime is our CEO. He has experience in project management in many different companies. And me, I'm the CSO and have a PhD in biotechnology. And of course, we also have famous key advisors that support us in different areas. Um, so far, we already secured 300,000 in our pre-seed round. And we are or were part of Berkeley Skydeck and are part of Exist. Our platform is validated with external partners. And we already had our first paid customers as with the Charité. So we look for our tailored solutions and we want to make fallen angels fly again. And we believe in long-term corporations. And we are looking or already looked for um, co-development of therapeutics. In our seed round, we asked for 1.5 million um, euros to cover the next 18 months of runway. We want to test our own therapeutics in the wet lab, complete our IP strategy, and want to build our own foundation models for antibody design. So be part of next generation therapies, be innovative, be a skillful fisher. My name is Anna, and thank you for your attention. All right, moment of truth. Can I get a drum roll from the audience, please? All right, the winner of the first DeSci Berlin pitch competition is Silica Corpa! <laughs> Would you like to say a few words about your victory? <laughs> Thank you so much. Actually, this was my third um, time on stage, so <laughs> that's why I'm really excited to win. Yeah, thank you, Nucleate, for the support. It's a um, really great, um, yeah, support. And I think I don't have any more to say. <laughs> thank uh, you. I do have one more thing to say. So these amazing four companies, along four more other, are going to be showcasing their companies at Demo Day. Demo Day of the, so it's the final day of the Activator program where they get to show everything, uh, what they have gone through the program, their companies, and um, we have a QR code for you to join. It's gonna be here in Berlin. So everyone that's based here in Berlin, please come, even if you're not travel and come. It's going to be an amazing day. It's going to be a day not just for uh, pitching, but also it's going to be panelists. It's going to, it's aimed to be a full day of networking as well. Uh, people in biotech. I know some of our molecule people are going to be around there. So, uh, but yeah, you can just scan the QR code um, and make sure that you are signed in for uh, the event. <laughs>